So as you can tell by the title of the video, I'm doing my June favorites. Um, obviously, I'm not all dolled up because even as a beauty guru, you have your off days and I really just didn't feel like getting dolled up. So yeah, I'm about to hop in the shower. Decided I want to film the June favorites. So we're going to film them now and then I'm going to get in the shower. So this is why I look all haggard and interesting. We'll leave it at that. Okay, so let's get started on my favorites. So this is obviously my first one. So these are just kind of products I've been using for a while. And then the like next couple months, obviously the, next, the following months will be stuff that I've tried for the month. So currently, uh, one of my favorite items right now uh, is the Con Air. Um, what is this? This is the Mega Ceramic Brush with Porcupine Bristles. So you have like the little porcupine bristles here. Then you have the bristles here. This brush is awesome. It makes your hair really, really silky and smooth. It's really great. So I really like that. Um, another product, like if you have ingrown hairs, razor burn, or um, razor bumps or anything, um, it's called Ten Skin Liquid. This stuff, I found mine at Sephora. This stuff's great. Like if you get razor burn, like uh, and you're, like your underarms or your bikini line or whatever, the razor burn, like you can put the stuff on within the next by the next day. It's gone and it's just really great stuff um but definitely check the expiration date before you buy it because sometimes the expiration date's closer than you realize and you're not supposed to use the product after it expires but i highly recommend the stuff it's great um another one that i'm liking is clean and clears finishes mattif mattifying moisturizer so it looks like that it comes in a pink box um, I actually saw Juicy Star 07 was talking about it, and I checked it out, and I really, really like this stuff. It's great. Like, you put it on before you put your makeup on, and, like, you're, you have, like, no oil the whole day. It's awesome. I really, really, really like this stuff. So definitely a highly recommend. Um, like everybody else is talking about, the Yes to Cucumber Facial Palettes. I absolutely love these things, and as a graphic designer, I'm a sucker for package design. And I love the attention to detail. Can you see this? Look how cute that is. Like, that is so cute. Um, if you don't like the smell of cucumbers, I don't recommend this. Because as soon as you open it, you're assaulted with the delicious smell of cucumbers. But I happen to like cucumbers, so it doesn't faze me. So, these are great. Um, and then, like, when you wipe your face and stuff like that, you don't get that, like, slimy, towelette feel like you actually feel clean and it dries clean like it doesn't feel like you have like algae on your face or something which brings me up to these ones which are the clean and clear makeup dissolving face cleansing wipes i hate these things i do not like them i tried them and it feels like i have slime on my face and i do not like it i used it cleaned up my makeup and washed my face right after because these were gross so i'm very disappointed with these so I wouldn't recommend them. Um, favorite makeup product right now would probably be obviously the Urban Decay Primer Potion and my little mini bottle because it came with my naked palette. Um, this stuff's great. Like it, you, your eyeshadow does increase with it. You have like all day staying power. It's just really great stuff. So this one's another great. Um, another thing I'm liking is the Sony Kashuk uh, blending sponge. As you can see, my foundation's all over it. It's really a great product like it's really great for summer because you don't want like heavy foundation smothering your pores all day so you wet this down squeeze all the water out so it's nice and wet so it won't absorb any of your product and then you just use a stippling motion and dab it all over your face and it gives you great coverage but it doesn't feel heavy so it's really awesome like it doesn't you know like nothing's worse than like putting all your like face pout like face liquids on and you're just like Bleh. like I just want to wash my face because I feel like all sweaty and gross like I don't feel like that when I use this so I really like that for summer the nail color I'm currently digging right now would be um Essie's sand topaz and that's what the color looks like it's kind of washed out and I just took my polish off so this is going on my fingers and toes for the 4th of July weekend so yeah Essie really great color it's like perfect like it's the only like natural color I was actually able to find that I don't have to put like 12 coats on for it to show up on my nails like literally one coat and I'm good to go I'm so excited I stumbled across this so yeah so those are my favorites for the month of June 
Um, if you like videos like this, comment below and maybe I'll do like a mid-July or something. Um, <laughs> so yeah, hope I see you next video. Bye!